Here's how to make a new device or instrument in your Reason Rack. With Reason open and a new Reason Rack available, you'll want to take a look at the Tool window. If you don't see the Tool window, click on Window and select Show Tool Window. This will show the Tool window, which will allow you to quickly and easily access many of the options that you can change in Reason. Using the first tab, you will be able to click and drag an instrument into your Reason Rack. Some instruments added to your Reason Rack will not immediately have all available controls viewable. In this case, the Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer hides most of its controls. In order to show them, I'm going to click on the button labeled Show Programmer. This will show me all of the available controls from the Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Now, if I would like to change the routing setup for Thor and how it communicates with other parts of Reason, I can press the Tab key on my keyboard. This will flip my Reason Rack around and allow me to look at the virtual cables that are available in the back of my Reason Rack. Here I can change the audio routing of my Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Rather than having it communicate on channel 1 of the Remix Virtual Mixer, I can click and select the cables and drag them to channel 2. Reason allows me to route many devices to other devices and to be very creative with my signal chain. Once you've made all of the settings that you would like to make to your virtual cabling, Press the Tab key again to flip the Reason Rack around and begin editing the parameters for any synthesizer which you have imported into your Reason Rack. Now you can begin making music with the many devices available to you in Reason 5.